Welcome friends, the event has started, it is a brand new week and we are here and ready to go. This event it runs for two weeks, then we have one week of still being able to exchange our items. This resource right here, this changes every time this event rolls around, so we do not want to keep any of these. We want to go in and spend them on these rewards that are right here. If you've been around for a while, you'll know how this event works. It is pretty much copy-paste every time it comes up. I would love them to change these events and just do something a little bit more consistent, but that is probably something for another video that I may schedule in very soon. Some just thoughts about how they can make this game a little bit more engaging. But for now, we're going to talk about this event. So where can you attain and where is the best place to obtain this source? Down here, the first time they run this, you can only get it in campaign or by purchasing. Now they have added that Labyrinth Island, so in your mazes. This is definitely the best place to do it. Campaign takes way too long. You use the same amount of energy, but the time it takes to run through 1,000 energy, because it's going to be about 1,000 energy no matter what, between 700 and 1,000 energy, depending where you run. But through campaign, it is definitely going to take that 1,000 energy. So 1,000 energy in campaign takes ages. Because you're only spending five, you're only getting one, you need to do so many different runs to get it. And they're slow runs, it just takes forever. Whereas if you're in the labyrinth, these new stages, 20 through to 40, are new. Obviously, I cannot do these. So if there's anyone that can do up to 40, can you let me know how many you get per run? So then I can go back in and let everyone else know if it's worth doing these higher ones for these resources. But I know people that can do stage 20 in like five seconds or something. There, in stage 20, you are using, what, 10 energy and you're running it in three seconds. You will get this through and done and a thousand energy over and done with so fast. The thing with stage 17 through to 20, you have a chance of getting three per run as well, which means that you're going to get it done even quicker than a thousand. So that is another reason why maze is better. So I've talked about this before in another video about where to spend your energy. These two weeks, you are going to be spending all of your energy in these mages. Each one of these mazes. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Maze of gold is the main place where I spend it. I usually get my gold up to about 25 million to 30 million. Once it's about there, then I run through these other ones depending what I really need. Obviously, or you probably need the least unless you're at a stage where you're crafting lots of legendary equipment. You will need lots of Maze of Enhancement because everyone needs to enhance their equipment. And Maze of Awakening, if you have all of your heroes awakened already, then you, this is probably the least amount that you really want. It just depends where you're up to between these two. Maze of Enhancement and Maze of Gold are definitely ones you're going to be doing a lot of because you need so many of that. So there's a quick rundown of what you want to be doing during this event. It's pretty much running Maze. So I'll do a quick run of Stage 21 right here. We're using 20 energy, which means I would expect to get between four and six of this resource per run. Because in stage 20, you get two or three, and that's for 10 stamina. So you're doubling the stamina, plus you're a little bit higher. So I'd say the rates are probably a bit more. You're more leaning towards getting five a bit more. Maybe, maybe sometimes you get six. And that's why if anyone is doing these higher ones, I haven't tried to go much higher. I probably should, and I probably will during this event to try and see if I can get a bit higher and see what goes on. But I'd love to see what stage 40 you get. If you're getting six per run, that is definitely going to be the best place to be doing this. I know it could be a little bit slower, but resource to bang for your buck, I don't know. It's all about what you need to do. This event is really easy to complete and really easy to get your 200 per day. So we'll do this really quickly. It doesn't take too long. It's not too bad. So you can only do the 200 per day, which doing this maze continually, you are going to get to that very easily. Even if you just leave it on overnight or you leave it on while you're at work, I don't know, whatever you need to be doing, 200 per day isn't that hard with the amount of energy we get. I know we lost a little bit of energy for the daily time spent in game, but there still should be enough energy in game for you to get 200 of these per day. Look at that, I've got five resources right where I thought it was going to land. I'm unsure if that'll go down to four or it will go up to six. It, I'll only know that after doing more and more runs. But for now, that five is probably the best place to do it. Go up above stage 20 and do those runs. If I'm wrong, please let me know down below so I can put it in a pinned comment. Make sure you do not forget this free 100 to energy there. Watching this video or purchasing this 100, if you do need just that little bit more stamina, it is definitely worth it. So once you have got your resources in this event, what should you be buying? So I'll tell you what I usually buy. Summoning tickets for sure and God summoning tickets. Those two are pretty much a yes. This Ascension Stone, you can get those in a clan. I think you should get them just from there. This is 1,500. I think it's a little bit too much. 
This King's Treasure here, if you're a big spender and you're buying these resources, I'd just say, yeah, go buy the treasure chest. But for 2,000 of this resource, that's 10 days worth of playing. You're only going to be able to collect these resources for 14 days. So you're only going to have 2,800 of these resources with only 800 left over. I think unless you are buying them, I think that these two are too expensive and you're just wasting them. I think you'll get more out of God Summoning Tickets, Hero Summoning Tickets, maybe even your Epic Ascension Stones. Do one of those per week. And then come down the back here and you have the Hammer is a yes. These Protection Stones are probably a yes as a well. And Soul Tears, if you really need them, go for that. But other than that, for these ones in the middle, these Holy Elixirs and stuff, these will only be what you're using for the leftovers. When you're finished and there's nothing else you want to buy, I wouldn't worry about the enhancement stones or the training manuals. You get enough of those just by doing this grind. Watch your video per day, and if you really want to spend gems, you can buy more, but I wouldn't do that either. There's a quick run down the event. You should be able to finish it, everyone. Good luck with what you pull out of here, and I'll see you in the video soon.